If you want to look good in front of thousands, you have to outwork thousands in front of nobody. Because if you truly want something bad enough, you'll always find a way. If not, you'll just find an excuse.
you uh, a couple of years ago. So this was actually after my big white collar match, which I thought that would be it. They called me back for the rumble and I found myself already in my debut match, swimming with sharks against the top talent that this country has to offer. <laughs> This guy, he's put together Rossi Rascal, first appearance in PCW, just turned 26 years old yesterday, and what a birthday present for this young man from Blackpool, a hugely talented mixed martial artist, second down black belt judo champion, an undefeated boxer with multiple KO victories, also won his last mixed martial arts fight but by submission in the first round. But look at this, Rossi Rascal just taking on, ready to free in the corner there. Yeah, no respect to reputations. Look at the judo throw from Rossi Rascal. The cool thing is, I actually took a, uh, a photo from my social media outside the tower when I first got started. The caption was something that, something like, I'd, I'd love to dream, my dream would be to wrestle at the Blackpool Tower. And literally just six days later of posting that, I got the call and made my singles debut for PCW. Let's talk about Rossi Rascal making his PCW singles debut. Look at this very likeable young man. He's from right here in Blackpool. A big moment for him. All his friends and family here sold a lot of tickets here to come and see him tonight. 26 years of age. And also, you know, Joe Hendry is a two-time British amateur wrestling champion. But Rossi Rascal is a second down black belt judo champion. Look at that judo throw! And Joe Hendry didn't see that coming! And this is a man who's competed in the Commonwealth Games, remember? Nothing but concentration on this guy's face. Hendry was going for his finish of the fall away slam. Rascal out of it. Big clothesline. And another one. This guy has got so much potential. He came from our white collar wrestling program here in PCW. And he's picked up the ropes so quickly. Very athletic. hometown in the ring today he was featured in the Blackpool local paper the Gazette I believe the Blackpool Gazette and just managing there may be a speed advantage to add to the list here oh my word that was spectacular from the hometown hero rascal is on fire can't we I'm sure bored ass Sleeping, leapfrogging. Rascal can do it. Oh, what a beautiful hip toss at this level. Brutal clothesline. Throwing there. them in there. Throwing them in. Launches him again. And what a kip up. Showing those fans that it didn't affect him. What a beautiful takedown. Everything that Rossi Rascal does is so smooth. Very crisp. You can see those years of judo training. And trying to club in there. Comes off the ropes. Oh, ho, ho. Planting him down with an excellent scoop slam. And that's what? it. That's it. Rossi Rascal has scored the victory over Sam Bailey. to do that this is what will be one of the most memorable moments for rossi rascal as he starts his wrestling career um you talk about um liking to go for the biggest opponent that you can yeah find. <laughs> yes whenever you can well that's how you learn yes yeah, exactly learn. and within pcw within wrestling in general there aren't many bigger opponents than legitimate seven foot yeah. giant of a man who could crush you just by looking at you but you decided you wanted to fight him yeah. and you've had several matches with him over the last few months almost like a running feud where yes. you keep trying to get him back into the and you get closer and closer to, to pinning him 
He's never been beat. He's never been pinned uh, or submitted yeah, yeah, yeah. in a PCW ring. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Blackpool Tower Circus. A Blackpool hero in Rossi Rascal. A huge amount of local press has been gathered here about this matchup tonight. Rascal has been appearing on BBC Radio Lancashire in multiple, multiple instances. Listen to that, the fans have brought air horns to herald the announcement of their hero. Uh, he's been in there against Big T just as before. And I'll tell you what, he did seem to do incredibly well against the, the seven-footer. There, there was a moment within that matchup that I felt we could have been watching something very spectacular about oh. to happen. Into an inverted suplex. Frosty Rascal, where's this going from? A oh. kick out. Rascal is still in this match. It down at the last second. And you've got to think as well, an impact coming at the last second when you, that is, that is cruel. As someone comes out to support someone that they respect and look up to, they shouldn't have to be subject to that. Stand in the corner face They've the wall. They've come out to support the person that they see as a teacher, a figure to respect, someone that they were. And oh. judo throw! Modified judo throw! Set to his feet again, again. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Not on that time! The leg caught him. Didn't. Ladies and gentlemen, I am joined by Rossi Rascal. Now, Ross, you recently had an incredible match against Big T Justice and you came within inches of being the first person to make him submit or to beat him by a pin but he didn't quite do it and Big T has said he doesn't want to give you a rematch so what are your plans going forward? I make no excuses as I said he beat me fair and square but I don't celebrate silver I don't celebrate second place I'm going to go for the entire roster like a samurai sword through butter until I earn that rematch until I earn that shot again I'm going to keep wanting Big T his way to the ring in not quite his usual jovial fashion you will of course remember ladies and gentlemen the last time we saw Rossi Rascal at the Blackpool Tower Circus he took on Big T Justice buyout member Big T Justice in what was an absolutely thrilling contest where but who Rossi, won? Who won? I'll get to that, where Rossi Rascal almost took the big man to his limits. But Big T Justice's streak here on PCW television is still intact. But look at this! Price not intimidated at all. Price getting into the face of the Rascal. Not, not a wise potential decision That's at it. this moment. Uh, he's run it in! You lost to Big T! A loser! Oh, 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 oh. Into the cover! No! Look at this! Big T stands tall! So just another example of what happens when you stick your nose in the buyout's business. Wait. Look at this! Wait a second! Big T puts away! It's Rossi Rascal! What's he doing here? He's not in this match. Not in this match, but he clearly, look who he's after. Big T Justice, the man he has wanted. Look at that, throwing Big T Justice. Rossi Rascal making a statement here, saving the champion once again. He's just made the biggest mistake of his professional wrestling career. Absolute chaos, bodies are spilling from the locker room. Big T Justice clearing the ring. Nothing stands in his way except for oh, Rossi no. Rascal! Get out of here! Get out! You've got no business being Standing here! Standing against the giant! Judo oh. through! No! to pin it or submit in that 
seven foot giant. So how about you versus Shake El Sham? If you beat the Shake, you get your rematch with Big T Justice. The impact of that one. Rossi Rascal, Shake El Sham. PCW TV. Rossi has to win or he doesn't get that rematch with Big T. Yet again, you've shown your favouritism. He doesn't deserve a match with Big T. Big T has beaten him twice. Count it, twice. Double nip up. How about that? These two men mirroring each other. Well, hardly mirroring. I mean, the shake is to, he's the prince of panache. He's an accomplished athlete. He's beaten many folks. Rossi Rascal, I know he's a junk dump. Keeping an eye on proceedings, he's already got physically involved. Looking in now for oh, the Scorpion Deathlock. Beautifully executed. Look at the way he's cranking back on the knees. The pressure on the lower back and on the knees. The hamstrings. Judo throw! He got him! He's got him! We saw him beat Mark Alexander Price with that! Oh, wait a oh, second. Dez oh. has dived out the ring. And look at him, he's getting distracted. Here comes oh. the shake. Oh, he, wait a second, the shake throwing. Big T is big enough to take Shakespeare. it. Shakespeare! And can the combo pay for a summer's day? Oh, wait, look at this. The shake's got up on the ring apron. And the, well, no, hang on, the big T's on the ring apron. While the shake's got Rossi pinned. What's going on? I told you, I told you there's problems here, Stallion. Big T not happy there's about what the shake did. No, I see Rascal gets his match with Big T Justice. I said he was on a mission. Mission accomplished. Rossi Rascal versus Big T Justice. Blackpool Tower, road to glory. One more time. My dream came true. We actually main evented Blackpool Tower. truly special to me personally was when we had the opportunity to wrestle in our own judo club. Oh!
the biggest match of my career and life. It truly was. I billed it as a lifetime of work. I put a ton of pressure on myself, but rightfully so. Pressure creates diamonds. But after the match, when the dust settled and the atmosphere changed, I was pushed in front of a camera, told to smile and take photos. I just felt completely demoralized. I felt sorry for myself for a good two minutes until the children lifted my spirits. And to my amaze, they still had faith. If my journey has taught me anything, it's if you fall down seven times, you get up eight. I have too many supporters to prove right. Why he's 
is adopted, and you're adopted, every single one of you, you're about to watch the top of God kick Russell's ass. versus Philip. Four matches. Four absolute bangers. Anytime Ross and Philip are in a ring with each other, it's always going to, it's always going to be magic. There's just something really good about it. Definitely, definitely want to see another one in the future. Um, I think we've been treated to something really special with them four particular matches. And the chemistry that them two have with each other is, is incredible. They both just went to war. They went out there and they just did it and it was just perfect but yeah i would would love to see them do it again but i just got goosebumps watching all three of them all three of their matches the singles was absolutely amazing and that kick started and then it set off the other three the, the similarities are that both the star pupils graduates of the pcw academy um and the last few months has seen an epic rivalry between the two of them one of the most intense feuds that you'll ever see uh, in wrestling. Horrible to watch from ringside to see what these two young men were putting themselves through. I mean, there were tables, there were chairs, there was a sledgehammer at one point, there was drawing pins. Uh, ultimately, Ross won. Uh, Phil did tap out. Um, but both men had been through hell. It was absolutely wild because you had no idea what they were going to pull out next. You had you had weapons, tables, kendo sticks, chairs. You had all sorts. Um, I can remember being in the back watching watching all three of them and be like, "Wow, Jesus Christ, rascal, Phil, two guys who I'm really good friends with, two guys who I've looked up to quite a lot, and they're going out there killing each other." rascal overcame the biggest challenge of his life against Philip Michael but the reason why Rossi Rascal in the end stood tall and at the climax of that incredible rivalry you know one of the most bitter and bloody and brutal feuds that I've ever seen and bear in mind I've sat and watched the greats fight it out in a PCW ring over a decade and I've not seen 
matches as intense and just physically draining as the matches between Rossi Rascal and Philip Michael. <laughs> Rossi Rascal made Philip Michael tap out at the end of all that. Rossi Rascal had his hand raised. Rossi Rascal overcame because in the end, while Philip Michael, he needed good people around him to stay on the right path. Rossi Rascal didn't because Rossi Rascal inspires the people around him to be good and that's the difference philip michael was fighting in the end for ego and insecurity to fill a hole in his life and his career rossi rascal was fighting for something greater rossi rascal was fighting to inspire the people who look up to him that's the difference between rossi rascal and philip michael that's why rossi rascal defeated philip michael when you've got something that you're fighting for, it makes you that much more. I think it's fair to say that if either Ross or Philip are able to win the Cruiserweight Championship, that they're going to be fighting over this championship for years to come. We're going to see some epic battles. We're going to see an epic rivalry that will go down in history. And what's not to say that in a couple of years' time, that Philip and Ross, they might even be fighting over the PCW Heavyweight Championship. Gold is in their future. How often the title changes hands, that remains to be seen. But it's going to be fascinating to watch. <laughs> Oh!
Rossi Rascal. Really well put together, really likeable young man, full of energy, full of enthusiasm, straight out of the PCW Academy, and I think he's going to the top. Hottest rising superstars here in PCW. Judo throw! Hey, judo throw! Modified judo throw! And let me tell you something to all Rossi students at the Kaidakai Judo Club in Blackpool are going to be so proud of this young man. Like I said, I think this young man's got all the tools and he's heading right to the top.